Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build a basic RS flip-flop for your field bus system. If you don't know yet what the field bus system is, that is a thing that I developed and made a tutorial of in the last week. There will be a link to a playlist about these videos in the description. So a field bus is basically that you can put multiple inputs over just one redstone line into multiple outputs. So uh, if I press this button here, for example, this will just trigger the redstone lamp over here and this button over here will just trigger the sticky piston or the T-flip flop with the sticky piston over there and it all goes through this repeater here. So what we want to do today is build an RS flip flop for this because um, most of the times you want to have a button to turn something on and then a button to turn something or the same thing off again because with this one you can't tell in which state it is if I press the button. So what you can see back there is that there are two redstone lamps and if I press, uh, let me see which one is lit, this one, if I press this button over here you will see that it changes the state into uh, this one and if I press it again nothing will happen because it's an RS flip-flop so there's one input for setting and one input for resetting and the input for resetting is just this one over here so like this I can change my farm state or whatever uh, yeah this is and um, to build this we will start by um, building the thing of last week so we need two addresses and that's what I've got over here already now. So um, if you haven't seen the video or the tutorial on the addresses yet, uh, then uh, pause the video right here and go over because uh, I think that this is needed to understand this. And uh, if you've got that, then you can yeah just build up two addresses that are next to each other. So here I've got uh, one repeater each time on four and then one is increased by just one tick. So this one is a four tick repeater and a one tick here in the front. This one is four tick and two tick in front. And then you want to start by building up a normal T flip-flop cell. And I will just use this one now to demonstrate how to make an RS flip-flop out of this. Because of course you could build two of these cells and hook it up to a T RS flip-flop, but that is way too big for my taste. So I will demolish now this T flip-flop over here. And um, then take this output at a later point but this is what we want to start with so we've got the two tick repeater triggering the fade out down there then into this torch going around with our address and now we want to go with the uh, four tick address here so this is on four tick then everything else is on one tick and this will now react already to one of the addresses but of course we need the second address too and therefore we replace this redstone with a block and go up because we need a second line here so just like this and then from the side we put a repeater on two ticks so as you can see this one is on one tick this one is on two ticks so increased by one tick and I guess now you can see it already and then we just put redstone dust up here and we need to connect these two redstones by just adding two blocks then we need to cut off the redstone over here otherwise it will go onto our bus and uh, connect it to the repeater and then we just need our overwrite over here with the comparator that is important so we can't get any passes into here that are uh, longer than one tick because otherwise this could pass through and screw things up and therefore we just put a block on top of the redstone torch and then the redstone torch on the side this on four tick and now we've got already our two outputs here and we can hook these up to a T flip-flop by our uh, RS flip-flop excuse me by just putting a uh, your know, three blocks in this shape here then a torch on this side torch on this side block down here with a redstone dust and redstone dust on top and if we hook up to redstone lamps now you can see that this one is lit and if I press uh, this button over here you can see that the state of these two will change and these are now hooked up hooked up to exact the same address so um, of course they are changing both when I press the button and this will reset it so I hope that this was useful for you if it was then let me know because uh, I'm putting a lot of time into this field bus things 
And if you want me to, then I could next time make a tutorial about how to increase the number of addresses that you have with this, because of course with these five repeaters to address something, we only have 16 addresses available. So um, I made a system that can have over 200 addresses by just adding a bit of redstone, not that much. So not like uh, a lot of repeaters just in a row, it's um, really a, a bit different then, but if you want something like this, then let me know in the comments and I will make a tutorial and explain it the best I can. But anyways, if you enjoyed this one, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel have, if you haven't already, leave me some feedback in the comment section and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a great day.